on the Circus so, Seven stage at the Peter end of this one, first. or will Dieter on. beat Peter and book her place in the second round? It's game on to see who can join Robert Thornton in winning their opening match at the very first World Seniors Darts Championship. What fascinates me, Murph, is the fact Four that Peter people. Manley eloquently said in his interview with Helen Chamberlain that he's probably going to get booed here because Dieter is a local. Well, yes, Peter lives in Cumbria with his wife, Chrissy, who is a former world number one as well. But he's originally from Surrey, which is just around the M25, so... He's a bit of a local himself. Is that when he used to run the uh, the paper shop, Peter Manley? Correct. Blew away, didn't 140. it? 140. First sizable visit of this contest goes to the heart of darts. But there you see Peter Manley 100. using a very similar setup to his heyday with that short bulbous dart, the longer stem and the pear-shaped flight, so in that department, nothing has changed, really. Which is what we can say about the colour of the shirt as well, still very pink. Headman, a player who always 100. has a smile on her face. Lights up many a darting arena, as does Peter Manley until the walk-on music finishes. 60. And then it's everybody collectively booing. Well, Hedman, who started this match and has won the start in sets one, three, and five, if we go that far, by winning the bullseye upstairs in the practice room. A distinctive 35. prodding style of Dieter Hedman has served her well through an immense career, which is not even over yet. 60. Well, they're playing at a similar standard in the early exchanges in this match. A contrast to the one we witnessed between Robert Thornton and Bob Anderson. And you might be wondering why Dita's darts are wobbling when they hit the board. Forty She's three. using a very thin, flexible steel point. So when it hits the sizal of the dartboard, it reacts with that little shudder. But Manley's D points D are a bit thicker. D and they don't do that. I'm supposed to show there are many different pieces of equipment you can use it's all about where it ends up at the end of that throw 19 leaves 104 so it's 54 and ball left sorry I was looking at Peter's score my mistake 59. he's trying to leave tops PT require he may have just been ahead of time let's see 19 leaves 104 so it's 54 and ball left for a second there I thought he was going for the 25 42. to leave 98 DT require 80 Does have options here. Traditionally, it's 220s and tops. The darts do land very flat, so this is very inviting for the first leg. She very nearly takes it. Manley also has options. 81. And it goes by the mantle of one dart. The dart's in one, and then it's over the top, and 21. it all went wrong. I think what he was trying to do there was 25-16 for 20. tops. But it's Hedman, who has double ten for the first leg of the contest. That is a good guy. She might just flick the left-hand side of that flight, just like Game that, to the take the first leg. leg. And the local is ahead. Second leg, it's Peter to throw first. Hedman ahead, and the crowd applaud. Manly, though, hunting down the treble 20. 100. Mentioned that one dart nickname. He likes to think, Paul, it's only because he uses one dart to land a double, I think it's because it can only fit one in the treble. He uses those big bulbous barrels, doesn't he? Yeah, he got that nickname around the late 90s because he had this reputation 44. of hitting vital doubles with just the one shot. He was so prolific around 99 and 2000. That's why he was 60. a world number one. Yeah, he had his best day. At the last, well, in Las Vegas, the best day of his life when he married his wife Chrissy. The year before that, he also won the Las Vegas Desert Classic. Good save there, Miff. Good save. 100. In fact, did he not propose her on the stage or announce the wedding on the stage or something like that? He's not the only dark player that got married in Vegas. Current PDC World Champion Peter Wright married his wife Joe in Vegas before he 
turned into snake bite. A day to Headman. Ahead in this one. 99. Mentioned we've seen her plenty. She's never stopped playing on the women's circuit and she also appeared in the first PDC women's tour events over the last couple of years. There have only been four different winners of those events and Dita Hedman's one of them. Absolutely is one of the premier lady players on the planet currently. You can talk about what she's done over the last 28 years to 30 years in her career but she's still a premier lady player. She's causing Manley problems early here. But Manley has the advantage in leg number two. He just has to put the hammer down a little bit to take it. Yeah, Hedman's probably the player we know most about in terms of where a form is likely to be at. Peter Manley hasn't really given anything away, has he, about how much he's been practicing, where his game's at. Maybe we'll start to see an insight here. 98. Chevrolet 18 will be the target. Just needs to keep this one high. And he's handily placed with Dita on a bogey number. Great to see a packed out tavern here on a Thursday night where we will see a session tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, and then the weekend where somebody will get their mitts on that extraordinary trophy. PT require 40. So can one dart live up to the mantle? Uses two, uses three, and 20. still hasn't gone out. So Dieter Hedman here has the opportunity to double 44. her lead in this opening set. Manley's in trouble now. Hedman has got two darts at double 16 potentially here. Game Only needs the one, eye. and it's one Dieter dart. Hedman. Hedman who takes a 2 0 lead in the first set. There's a bit of a smile. Like it's Dieter to throw first. On Game the face on. of Dieter Hedman, and there's one from Peter Manley as well, but inside he's going to be writhing. There's a break of throw for Hedman. She has the darts in this third leg, which if she wins, will seal the set. Just has to win one of the next three now, Dieter Hedman. Just the small matter of a certain Philip Douglas 100. Taylor, if you get through this contest. Well, imagine adding all their titles together. We haven't got enough time this weekend to add them all up because this lady has been prolific and I think one of the standout statistics of her career as she goes for her first maximum. Only gets the 125 but really does look very settled up there but Dita Hedman yes two-time world master but look at how far apart they were. 29 years apart. Incredible. Fabulous. Longevity from Dieter Hedman, who's in the treble again. 140. Can't complete the maximum, but she has got Peter Manley at her mercy here. 125. Good response from Peter. Well, this set is Hedman's. If she stays straight and picks up a treble here. Things are getting a bit iffy. She's got to be careful on 185. And she misses the 25, so this is the invitation that Manley needed. It's potentially four darts away from this leg. And you sense that he needs a double to calm down and get himself 100. in rhythm. Just wonder what's going through his head now, Peter Manley. Is he thinking about the showman shot of two double tops, or does he just want to take care of business? Hedman's taking care of business here. 120 off that to go for a 16 to leave double top and to pile the pressure on Peter. Peter. Require 80. Got to hit this. He's going safe. Tops is open. Game tops is closed, and there is one dart doing what one dart does. Well, the way he laid up, as he gestures one dart to the crowd, he was only ever, ever going to get one dart, Peter wasn't he? Because he was first. nowhere near the double nor treble. He backed himself with one, he hit one, on. he breaks back, and the match has a different complexion already. For players like Peter Manley-Murph, 
who have not had competitive action on the stage for quite some time. It's a different feeling being in this environment to an exhibition, isn't it? There's something on the line here. He wants that match against Phil Taylor. He wants to beat Dieter. And I know we heard from Dieter in her interview with Helen. She doesn't remember that they played in 2006 in a Players' Championship, a game that Peter Manley won by three sets to nil. 81. Well, when you've played as many games as Dieter Hedman has, it's easy to forget a few. That's very true. She has, over the course of her adult life, given a lot of hours to the Postal Service. That's been her day job. She's travelled all over the world and picked up titles pretty much everywhere she's gone. Well, good honesty there from Dieter Hedman. The referee, Charlie Corstaphine, initially calling 60, but Hedman correcting him. 45 was a score. 60. Nice touch as well on Dieter Hedman's shirt. We've spotted that she's wearing a patch in tribute to Andy Fordham, of course the darting world lost last year the viking also commemorated on the trophy the wonderful trophy that the winner will get alongside the thirty thousand pound first prize honoring jockey wilson leighton reese of course as well let's not forget of course that we did lose the great bruce spendley last year as well one of the best referees in the history of the game and I love the fact that we are paying tribute to Andy 100. and to Jockey and the people who can't be here with this inaugural World Seniors Darts Championship. And I've got to say it. 43. The enticing nature of being the first name on that trophy as winner. That is the biggest carrot of all. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, Fordham was initially going to take part in the event. Nice touch from the organisers and from Dieter Hedman. Nice darts from Dieter Hedman here. 138. Now, Peter, why did you leave 159? Not a player that you would associate calculating errors 78. with. That's a good approach, but Dieter Hedman's got 76 for the 72. first set here. There may have been more misfire than miscount from Manley, but Dieter Hedman is not missing much. Hot, hot, hot she walked out to, and she is on fire. 68. She misfires there, and Manley has an opportunity on this 81 that he really did make a mess of in the opening leg of the match. Does he go 25 again? This time he gets it, and he does get one dot at tops. 41. This time it sails over the bar and Hedman gets three clean at double DC four require eight. to take the first set of this contest, which is first to three sets. Hedman making headway. Game shot on the first the double set. to take Dieter the Hedman. first set. Dieter Hedman on top of Peter Manley in this first round Second clash of the World it's Seniors Peter Darts Championship. One dart has work to do. 100. You can't accuse Peter Manley of not being busy, that's for sure. He is the chairman of the Professional Dart Players Association, and he's been in that chairman's seat for quite some time now, alongside his right-hand man at that association, Alan Warren Little, who's in the other half of the draw. Uh, Alan Warren Little, the chief executive of the PDPA. Well, when we've seen them both play, Paul, we'll, we'll wonder whether or not we've seen, they've got a dartboard up in the office, because I'm not sure there is one. I'm not sure they've got the time to practice. They've got so much on their schedule, trying to organise qualifying school, challenge to a darts, all sorts of different things with 43. all of the playing roster. I mentioned Peter's wife, Chrissy. She was a world number one in her own right, of course. Incredibly 40. never played... The ranking match against Dieter Hedman. That's astonishing when you think about how long both of those players have been around. But Chrissy Manley, formerly Chrissy Howard, of course. What a player she was. In fact, I remember being 
60. At the Portland Snooker Club in Carlisle. And a county match, Northumberland versus Cumbria, and she got the best average that weekend of any player, male or female. 43. She was an astonishing player. And they just slipped there with that 43. Started the leg well, 196, but then only followed with scores in the 40s, and Hedman may be able to take advantage. 41. Too many times in this match so far, Manley has strayed left 42. and right. 42. Hedman has had enough in the way of chances so far. She's never been a quick player. She's always taken a relaxed approach, and that's what Dita's like. When you get to know her, she's so relaxed. One of the best laughs you could ever hear. 100. I'll tell you what, if you do something she doesn't agree with in her presence, she will tell you. She's quite an intimidating presence, but here comes Manley. 160. Oh, typical showmanship from the man in pink. Oh, I think he was perhaps worried about busting Peter Manley there. Better up in the double than anywhere near that treble. 28. I think that may be the white flag in this 20. leg. As Manley goes for double 10. This time, he goes back to the top and he has a guide. Does he want to go for it? No score. He's decided to bust it DT with Hedman on 161. We did pred predict uh, a trick or two coming from Peter Manley. He's not going to be punished on this occasion. A wry smile on Dieter Hedman's face there, I think, as she threw that dart. 60. If he comes inside the 10 this time, he won't 20. be employing the same tactic. I can assure you of that. Looks like a very good dart. Can he brush it in Change off the barrel? The first That's leg. exactly what Peter he does. Manley. Peter Manley leads in this second, second leg, set, having lost first. the first by three Game legs on. to one. When we're talking about the likes of Manley and some of the other players that haven't had competitive stuff for a while. How much do you, Murph, think that the format 83. lends itself to the people who have match practice? Because best of five sets is a long format if you've not been playing. Yeah, I think that's an excellent point. And I think it was one that was proved in the opening match. I'm sure Bob Anderson's been hitting the practice board hard. But well, just while you're here, Paul, explain the difference between practice and match practice 60. practice in a room on your own or even with one other person brings its own little pressures but in front of hundreds of others 60. temperature changes match complexities there's no substitute for what this is right now when you're slightly above the rest of the people watching and Phil Taylor had the best way of putting it but unfortunately, it can't be broadcast. 85. There is one broadcastable one that I've heard from Taylor, which is anybody can be bedroom world champion. 82. With the dartboard on the back of the door. Yeah, my old Super League mate, Ian Arkell from Bedlington, a great darting town, used to say, nobody beats me in my hallway. I'm world champion of the hallway, but play me in Super League, everybody beats me. 45. Well, maybe an opening here for Peter Manley. 59. We saw him, didn't we? Peter Manley in that previous leg hit 160. It wasn't to win the leg, but now he does want that score. He's had some practice already. We'll be getting into the stage of the match now where they'll feel comfortable. Peter, you require 160. You may not be feeling particularly confident with their level of play, but it's about situational pressure now. Situational play. 60. Dealing with what is next. Peter, you require 170. What's next for Hedman is what Thornton missed on the bull in the previous match. Could she? Could she? Well, she threatened that Peter Manley would have been watching with interest there. The crowd are providing us with very apt sound 68. effects there. The oohs and ahs that are greeted with 100. 60s and small ones. Is it tops? It's not. It's double 10. 
82. I don't know. I was just confused as to why he wasn't going tops, tops, but those big barrels can be really good backboards for guides to the 60 just like that. You can get a good bounce off the Manly barrels. Headman was going for the bullseye there on 82. It's kind of an old school tactic. We've seen it employed many times. Actually, treble 14 is probably a better alternative. On the second uh, Peter Manley makes a play, Manley. doubles his lead in the second set as he looks to level up the match. Third leg, it's Peter to throw first. Game on. Just seems to be getting a bit of a foothold in this match now, does the chairman. Doesn't want to change his nickname from one dart to the chairman. But Peter Manley who does look a little bit like Michael Knighton. Remember Michael Knighton? He's, he tried to take over Manchester United back in the day. He was actually the chairman of Carlisle United, which 95. is where Peter currently dwells. Well, he's got himself a foothold in this match now, Manley. It's all going wrong for him, losing that first set 3-1. Without really too much of a fight, but he's settled in a little bit better now. And he's just a leg away. Hedman will make him work for it. 81. Just think of the situation that we've got here in set two. If Manley takes it quite comfortably, three set, three legs to nil or three legs to one 60. all is good we go into the break one set all and we're down to a best of three scenario but if Hedman can win this set from here what does that do to the confidence level of Manly in this all English contest and we do have other nations 95. being represented here and one of them is Larry Butler of course the first ever winner of the world match play back in 1994 the year one hundred and became world master for the very first time. Decent stuff from Manley, 140 to leave 103. Former runner-up at the match play himself back in 99. 60. Peter, you require 103. 60. Would have left options. Now he has an option on 66 left with one dot, and Hedman's got another crack at that 170 checkout. 48. That's all good. Dita, you require if Dita misses this. Because he's on a small two darter. Can she get closer to the big fish? In fact, it's further away. She will apply some pressure by virtue of that big treble 20. Dita, you require it will be 15 55. for Peter Manley. Two darts at tops to take the second set. Game it becomes one. Second set. Peter uh, double Manley. ten and one dart finds that one dart in double ten to level up. That's right. And as Bobby was saying, Paul Peter Manley. Well, he won't be happy with how he's performed, but he will be happy to have reeled off those three quick fire legs to get this match level. And he can kind of reset and start again now, can't he? Yeah, very much so. I think when he lost that first set. It was a case of get to the break, one set all, have a little breather, and then try and win the match from here. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Third set, first leg, it's Dieter to throw first. Game on. One of the problems that we expected all these players, or most of them, to encounter was inconsistency during matches, that it would ebb and flow, peak and trough, and we've kind of seen that in this game so far. Hedman had the better of the 81. opening set. Manley raced through the second so it's whether he can now pick up where he left off and Bobby in his analysis rightly mentioned the darts going in treble one from Peter Manley so it's only a small adjustment he needs to make to turn what is currently probably a frustrating performance to one that he's comfortable and happy with small adjustments that pretty much sums up this game of darts which is about millimeters 41. It's a very complex throw that Dita has, but if you look at Peter's grip, he's holding that 60. small bulbous dart with just the index finger and the thumb, nothing else. 
And if one tiny component of that grip goes wrong, that dart will flail anywhere on the board. He's got real control with that thumb and index finger. One hundred and thirty. It is an aspect of his game that has never changed, but I've got to say at this juncture, Murph, in his heyday, 20 odd years ago, he goes for a maximum and gets it. He's throwing darts now that are all the same weight, but 20 years ago he was throwing darts where they were all three different weights. Well, he made his weight for the first maximum. And he told the crowd to sit down, didn't want their adulation. He's in again. And again. Really has given himself a, Dita, you a talking to in the break. But Hedman's got a chance of stealing here. It's 180 followed by 138 for Peter Manley. This can still be done. Treble 19 for Hedman. Would have left a double top. So Manley is going to get the opportunity 25. that he will feel he deserves Dita, you after five 40. trebles in six darts. Six perfect darts, really. Make that seven. Peter, and Manley. Peter Manley does pick off, pick up where he left off. Dare I say it? Second leg, Vintage it's Manley. To throw first. Very good Game stuff off. to win the first leg of the third set. There's a focus about him right now. It's very admirable. You'd have to say that maybe, as a former world number one, he has of course won the Las Vegas Desert Classic, like you mentioned earlier. He's won a total of 11 PDC titles 100. aside that Las Vegas Desert Classic. So it's a great career, but I feel there are things missing from it. Yeah, I'm sure there are many players 95. who played in the Phil Taylor domination era that you could say that about. The Powers Hour will come tomorrow. Yeah, I always love the words of James Wade. A great machine like dart player from Hampshire who said I'd be a millionaire if it wasn't for Phil Taylor and then we have someone like Michael Van Gerwen who comes along but this is Manley starting to find that treble 20 a lot more and it's bad news for the heart of darts Dieter Hedman I remember Taylor in wait for the winner of this match as you alluded to before Peter Manley has made no secret of the fact that he wants to take on Taylor in this tournament. He wants to topple Taylor, but he'll have to get past Hedman first. All of a sudden, he's making a good fist of it, Manley. He's had his health problems over the last few years, says Peter. But he's looking pretty jovial on that stage, and he's walking really slowly in a nice rhythm towards the back of this stage and he's in a fine position to take this third set he negotiates 117 here 117 he left by landing the 25 of his last dart showing he's in control of his mind he's in control of the darts right now and he's in control of this match Peter Manley taking out 117 with no trouble at all 15 Third dart leg to, to double his lead first. in the third set. In previous years, Peter Manley would have had a smirk on his face there. He would have been milking the crowd. But I think in this challenge right now, he's trying to stay focused, trying to stay in this moment. And it's 123. working. He's come back from the break, hit a 180, hit a ton plus finish. He's bettered anything we've seen before. The break seems to have given him a lift. Or maybe it was the three legs he won before it. Dare we use that word momentum, of course. Because he did have it going into the break. And maybe a lot of people 81. watching our broadcast would say that the break came at a wrong time for Peter Manley. But it's obviously worked for him. 100. He fires in another straight ton. And he's constantly putting pressure on Dieter's position. She's gradually, gradually being backed into a corner in this set play match, which is something that isn't played a great deal 30. outside of World Championships. Peter was poor to start with, and then he was okay, and now he's got good. 
seeks and that spells trouble for his opponent in this one who would herself have felt in a strong position when she won three of the first four legs to take that opening set Manley wasn't at the races in that one but he's now reeled off five, five with no reply from Hedman quite a few times in this match we've seen Hedman on the cusp of leaving a finish and her last start on 100. the approach visit is finding a stray number she did it again here to leave 182 but for the first time she's not going to be punished for that mistake and it's all about this approach now and she finds the 60 on the adjustments and again on the third dart it should have been 82 or less but she's going to have to come back for 97 43. There will no real Peter, pressure applied 97. by Peter. Here's a finish that we will hear all about over the course of this weekend. From who? Some fella. Some fella named Della. Manley will have a go at it. 29. Peter, you require Doesn't have to go 60 here. He could go two treble 19s, but he's old school. That's what this tournament's all about. 94. Could be a big Peter moment, this. 68. Manley has taken 94 off that to leave himself handy. Hedman is only going to get one dart at double to stop the rot here, to stem the tide. Double 16 required. Game double 16 delivered. Dieter and Dieter Hedman. just ends that trend of losing legs. Fourth leg, it's Peter the to throw first. turning once again. Game on. That is a great finish. You have to see it. She's staring at losing set three. And she comes up with a perfect 68 finish. I just look at Dita's career. 100. And we talk about the amount of titles that she's won, but... The amount that she's won multiple times. I could be here until Monday talking about some of these things, but the gap between the first win at a tournament and the last time she's won something, that's even Four more people. remarkable. She's won nine tournaments more than 20 years apart. That, to me, is mind-boggling. 140. thought we were going to be here until Monday, Paul. <laughs> Uh, things like the Antwerp Open, opens in Denmark, Finland, France, Scotland, Switzerland, Sweden. This is why. This is why. 140. Just gets her right back in the leg though, doesn't it? Manley has had a dodgy visit in every leg just about, something in the 40s. And there's 45. another one. That may be a visit. And he may not be punished for leaving 2 1 6. And he's not going to be punished. He's a maximum away from 80. a set dart. 216, as Paul mentioned, for Manley. 240 for Hedman. 43. But he hasn't managed to leave a finish. So Hedman here may feel that she can see some light here just wonder what is a good guide for Dita Hedman when she misses the 60. I'm not sure that first start was a help. 60. I think it was a hindrance. And as a result, she does not leave a finish from 240. And Manley's looking for the 1-3-3 three, three downstairs with two treble 19s and single. And that's exactly what he finds. And it is set darts in coming for one dart Manley. Taking control. The former world number one, Peter Manley, who wants that tantalising tie with 54. Phil Taylor. Peter, you require You can edge closer 40. to it here. Double top, a long way off, double ten. Closer. Game shot and the in. third set. And Peter, Peter Manley, Manley takes the third set and moves closer to a victory here. He wants that tie with Phil the Power Taylor, and he's now one set away from getting it. 
Dieter Hedman took the first set, Full remember 3-1. Peter, Peter Manley first. has won Game six on. of the next seven legs to take charge of this contest. I think with the momentum that Peter Manley has now, we can talk a little bit, but not too much, about the possibility of him playing Philip Taylor. 26. What do you think Manley's mindset would be if he played Taylor on this stage? Because we know for a fact that Taylor would be business, business, business. Well, he has done a, a few interviews, Peter Manley, and has shown ultimate respect 41. to Dieter Hedman. Knew he had a tough game, said that Hedman, you know, still plays and I don't. But he really wants Taylor and that's his motivation for getting through this match. And I think we've seen a change in attitude from Peter Manley since losing that first set. I think he's become more business-like. I absolutely agree. I've had the esteemed pleasure of playing against Peter on a few occasions. He has been asked, of course, in the lead-up to this match if he was going to play any of the old dark arts of... Maybe just taking a bit of time here and just employing a few tactics, but I think he was never going to do that against Dieter. He basically said not against Dieter, but watch out against Phil. So tune in. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be many Dart fans would miss that match if it occurs, of course, because Dieter does have every capability of winning the next two straight sets. But this has to be said. She doesn't have a great deal of experience of winning best of five set matches because that's the women's world final format. There is the title that just kept getting away from Dieter Hedman. Something about the world's world and championship. She's won just about everything else. 81. Just fading away in this match as Manley is moving in the other direction. Should stay up top. 60. Doesn't bank a 60, but he will return for 83. It's interesting what Peter was saying about the pink shirt as well, that a sponsor gave him a shirt to wear, and inadvertently, his career turned on the choice of 60. that colour. He's worn a pink shirt Did ever he since. require 83. Well, he was feeling blue earlier in this match, but he'll be tickled pink now, Peter Manley. 33 remaining. Double 16 for another leg. 67. Hedman way, way back. Manley will come back for double eight. I do believe we've just seen a very good dart player from the southeast of England in the crowd by the name of Clive Borden. Good player. But it is double eight. 83. For Peter Manley to take the first leg. PT of set four. 16. He has the momentum, but he doesn't have the 16 bed. How is he on double two? No score. The compass has been broken in that visit. Well, it's not a bad outcome, is it? That's better than him hitting the single two and coming back for double one. If he does come back, of course, because Hedman can still do this. Treble 17 for the bullseye. Just isn't clicking right now for Dita. 43. And you're right, because PT you'd much rather come back 16. for double eight than double one. Game shot on the first. And it's there. Leg. Peter Manley. Little head shake from Peter Manley. But if you want to cheer yourself up, Peter, Second look leg. at it's the scoreboard. To throw first. Game on. We will, of course, have Lisa Ashton in this tournament. She plays in round number two. 50. I've got to say, though, Murph, in an era where we talk about women's sports and people getting opportunities that are equal 100. darts has always been smashing those ceilings we talk about Dita being the first woman to beat a male player in a televised match of course that was against Aaron Turner sorry Aaron 100. it's only been said about a thousand times since 2005 who was it against? Laura Turner's husband but women have always been welcome to play with the men. It's always been the case. And that's what I love about this tournament. It's a celebration not just of the male game, but the female game.
140. Uh, 140, Hedman just reminding Manley she won't throw in the towel. And Manley has just kind of 50. slowed this game down to a, a pedestrian pace, I think, more just to suit himself a little than anything to affect his opponent. Well, Dieter's done something a lot more recently than Peter, and that's hit a match-winning double 100. in a competitive match. And even with all of his experience, he'll be feeling it right now, thinking I'm close. I just want to get there. Dieter, you not going to get there in this leg if Dieter negotiates 103 with two visits in the bank. Treble 20 for double 12. Again, it's a wayward one, but this time, Manley. 81. Even in the rear view mirror. So Hedman will come back. She's left herself double 11, though. 91. A lot of people like double 11. DT I know that Adrian Lewis does. He won his first world title on it. He hit it on that occasion 11 years ago with the second dart. Dita's not going to do that. And she's no not going to hit it at all. This 1 2 6 for Manley is gettable. 4 19s and bull. Oh dear, Dita. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Can Manley navigate away past that dart? He couldn't. Hedman will return. Does she 39. change her plan? And there is the legend that is Dennis Priestley. 22. Looking sharp, Den. Well, this double 11 is proving to be a menace for Dieter Hedman. This time, she's not hit it and can't finish. 14. Because all she could do was leave double four. PT Manley 87. will be cursing himself that he's sitting on 87 and, and not something a little smaller than this. Treble 17 isn't found. That leaves 81. He's checking with the referee. He said, are you sure? I think he is sure, Peter. Is he trying to employ some kind of Darren Brown trick of the mind there, Peter Manley? He knows what it is. Come on, Peter. You know it's double 12. Game oh, on the Peter Manley. Leg. Peter Manley. Asking the referee between every dart of that visit, what do I need? And then getting it. Third leg. It's getting Peter himself further ahead in this match. Game He's on. now just one away from the win and a showdown with Phil the Power Taylor tomorrow evening. It's almost as if he knew he was going to hit it. No matter what 45. he got with the first start. Well, this is where Dieter's staring at the precipice of being eliminated. It wouldn't take a long to get home. Because 85. Whitham in Essex is about half an hour away. But she doesn't want to go home without a return ticket. 60. Well, is Peter Manley going to edge to victory here? It would be around 9 p.m. tomorrow night, that tussle with Taylor. Tune in. 100. Manley out for revenge. He's been given the cold shoulder by Phil Taylor a couple of times on this stage. 7-0 defeats in World Championship 81. Finals, along with another defeat back in 99. At one point, walked off the stage without a handshake. Tim Manley wasn't a happy chappy, but he will be happy tonight. Not quite there yet, but very, very close. 55. There is a degree of inevitability about the body language of Dieter Hedman right now. But Manley's still got work to do. 43. You always say the hardest double to hit is the last one. I can testify to that. Well, the other thing, of course, players get after victory here at the World Seniors Darts Championship is an on-stage interview with Helen Chamberlain, and Peter Manley has got plenty of classic Thank interviews you. with Helen on YouTube. We might get to see another one here. That will be worth the admission fee alone. Yeah, Peter's a very eloquent human being. 60. Looking after the welfare of the cream of the crop these days with the PDPA. 
Yeah, but often when he talks, it's with his tongue firmly pressed in his cheek, isn't it, Peter Manley? He's a mischief maker. And he's caused plenty of problem for Dieter Hedman tonight. She's still scrapping. Nice turn there to leave the finish. First to get to a finish here. But Manley knows on 2 1 2 that he's a maximum away from a match winning double potentially. He has been a lot straighter since set number Safety. one. So maybe Safety he was listening to Bobby George's advice. 101 for Hedman to keep this match alive. Treble 19, maybe treble 15 goes for the former. And Manley has the chance to seal it in style. 49. PT requires. He wants to go exhibition style here. Two treble 17s and bull would be nice, but he's going 60s. Not banking one. 42. Doesn't really pressurise that 52. DT of Dita who 52. found a really good key 68 finish earlier to keep herself in a set. This is to stay in the match. She's won just one leg since winning that first set. Can she win another? 12. And she may come back. Manley's on a three-figure out. Slowed it right down, Peter Manley, hasn't he, towards the back end of the game, taking plenty of time to concentrate. It's all business-like. And Peter Manley in this match 70. has been taking care of business. But you mentioned it, Paul. When he gets to the match-winning double, it's a different story. And that was a long way away as he gestures. Yeah, that one was like a Chris Waddle penalty. Game shot on the third. That one yeah. is like a Gary Lineker Peter penalty. Hedman. Back of the net for Dita Hedman. And she gets cheers from the crowd who want more. It's Dieter to throw first. Game on. Well, it's a mismatch start for Peter Manley. Hedman then breaks. The crowd all of a sudden give her some encouragement. Let's not right off Dieter Hedman yet. 43. The ceiling in this venue, Murph, is quite low. I know it's been a long time since 100. I played on that stage. But if it's anything like 2010, it gets hot in there. The temperature on that famous Sunday back in 2010 was over 40 degrees on stage. That's really hot to play darts in. Your hands might swell up. And if you're not used to that, those darts are going to feel alien to you. It's about the things that you're doing when you're not throwing that will help when you come back to the hockey. You can see Peter going back to the table, wiping his brow, just taking a few deep breaths. That's experience. There's been a, a fantastic reaction to the World Seniors Dark Championship. You can see the crowd here at the Circus Tavern cheering on their favourites. Cheering on big scores. 140. So how many legs are left in this match? Nail-biting stuff. For fans of Dieter Hedman. She's staring at the exit door, unfortunately. 100. Is that Dieter going to be her last visit in this tournament? It's not. Manley would dearly love to find a 60 now to leave double 18. 60. Well, Bob Anderson's last visit was a maximum. Dieter Hedman produced the same trick. Not quite, so Manley will return with another opportunity. Should get at least one more match dart when he comes back. That's what he's thinking about. 95. Single 20, PC single 16, 76. tops. Job done. Single 20, single 16. 36. But the job is not yet done for Peter Manley. It's getting closer though. He His last match dot was about an inch high. That one was only half a centimetre high. Single 19, treble 19, either way round. Gets the treble first. Another treble now would leave the outer ring. She gets it for double six. What a way this would be to stay in the match. Manley not looking. But she's ended no up score. busting the score completely. Well, that is the result PT for Peter 40. Manley. 
and double ten. Twenty. Sees Manley squander more opportunities. That's now Into five require, darts missed for this match. But That's Hedman it. is back on one two six. Yeah, she should have been sitting on double six here or possibly double three, and she's not going to get a chance this time. So, like you said, Murph, Peter Manley's had five darts for the match. Eighty-two. He's going to get another visit for it. Peter, you require twenty. Double ten then for one dart, Game and it only shot. takes one dart. And the match. Peter Manley, Peter Manley goes through. To take on Phil the Power Taylor tomorrow night.